Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Professor Giovanni meets Professor Barry back with another episode of Hey Professor, the show we talk about everything you want to know about healthcare management and business management. I got to start adding in, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I know a lot of other YouTubers say that. I don't really say that. I didn't want to be that guy, but it really does help. That's the honest truth. I'm not even like, I'm just now getting into the YouTube thing, but every like helps, every subscribe helps, every comment helps. That stuff really does help drive um, success on, on the platform. So I got to start working my way into asking you guys to do that, but that's me just trying to figure that whole thing out, right? Anyway, this is going to be a video I wanted to do for a very long time. I did it before, and it was one of my most popular videos um, with my students. So I wanted to kind of redo it and share it. I really was quite literally waiting until I had a haircut to do it. I was like, I'm not going to do it all messy. I want to do it with a nice background, you know, because people like seeing nice things, right? But to get to the point, this video is going to be about getting your money up front. What do I mean by that? Um, anytime that you're going for a new job, or you want to get a, a good starting salary. There's a lot of things involved in that. It still surprises me to this day, the amount of anxiety. Did you notice I, I changed? I came over here and I was like, hey, it's a nice little view. Um, did you, it really surprises me the amount of anxiety people still have to this day about interviews and about asking for, for their money, for the money that they deserve. I talked about this in uh, other videos. So I'll go over it here again really quickly. You don't get money later on. Let me break that down for you, right? Asking for a, a raise, right? Raises that you get, these yearly raises, this 1%, 2%, 5% if you're lucky, that's nothing. That's not gonna change your life, you know what I mean? It doesn't really equate to, to much. Raises are gonna be yearly, but they're not a lot of money. Um, you know, getting a promotion is not a constant thing. You're not going to get promoted every year. So how do you make a positive change in your life from a financial standpoint? How do you get the money that you want to live your life? You have to get that money up front. I'm going to share with you a story before I go into depth about the concept that I'm going to explain to you. I think this is really going to be my most popular video with people, or it should be if it ain't. It really should be. All right. I'll tell you a story, right? I was a medical coder back in 2014. I was making at the time $25 an hour. I was headhunted around that time because ICD-10 was, was rolling out and they needed trained coders for ICD-10, which was at the time, I don't wanna say a rare skill, but it wasn't as common as ICD-9. Again, everyone was moving on from the ICD-9 standard to the ICD-10 standard. No more ICD-9 coding. Ever. It was it was gone at that point, right? I get headhunted by an organization that wants to hire me full time as a coder. We we negotiate. I had never heard of them. I didn't really feel comfortable to be honest with you. So I said, hey, look, you know what? I'm not gonna come on board with you guys full time. I'm gonna stay with, with my organization because I trust them, let's be clear, but I will work with you part time. So I was continuing to work at the organization where I was making $25 an hour, solid, you know, and then uh, I took the part-time job with that consulting firm making $34 an hour. That, that's what they gave me. Now they also said, oh, it's a shame you didn't come on board with us full, full time, Javon. We could have gave you more money. So we're talking about $25 an hour up to 34 from my part-time back in 2014, 2015 this time, all right? As time went on and I started working with them, I started feeling a lot more comfortable because I had worked with them for, you know, six months, eight months, a year. Say, okay, this place is legitimate. Why would I continue to make 25 when I can make 34 or more? They're talking about they're giving me more money, right? So I decided I would, I would switch over to them full time. I said, hey, listen, I know we had the conversation. I'm going to come on board with you guys full time. They said, great, you know, that works great for us. Please come on board. I, uh, I left the other organization I was with. I went on board with the consulting firm full time. Then I said to them, I said, hey, I don't know if you remember, we had a conversation and you said, hey, it's a shame that you're not full time because we would give you more money. You remember that? They were like, yeah, we did say that. Yeah, we remember that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm here now. Like, what's up? Like, where's my money? 
You know what I mean? And they were like, oh, give us some some time, you know. And they took some 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 time, and they went away, and then they came back, and they said to Javon, we're going to approve it for you. You know what? We did say that. I said, okay, good, good, good. What I'm getting, what I'm getting. They said, you know, we we told you originally uh, 34. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. They said, we're going to give you 35. I said, I said, my man, no, no, I want to I want to do that, that zoom in again so you understand. I said, my man, is you playing? Like, is you playing with, with my, my feelings right now? No, <laughs> I'm joking. I didn't say that. But the point is, I was like, 35, yay. And that's nothing to laugh at. You're talking about, you know, another dollar an hour. <laughs> From sixty-eight thousand to to seventy thousand for a guy with just his, his associate's degree, that's not bad. You know what I mean? At the time, just had my, my associate's degree, so that's what they gave me. And you know, I've, I really moved forward with that. I was happy with that extra dollar. I mean, I wanted more, but I was happy, and I kind of felt kind of gypped. I was kind of weirded out. Like, wait a minute, you guys said you know more. You guys said I would get more if I came on board, and now I did. And it kind of feels like they didn't want to give me that extra dollar, but they did because they they were obligated to because they said so. And then I learned the game. I learned the trick. I learned the secret and I'm passing it on to you. Here is the secret. If any organization, every organization, once they have you, they have you. They have no reason. They have no incentive to give you more money. That's why it is so important that you get your money up front. That's why I advocate for everybody, every student, every part, every person watching, every viewer, anybody who's going for a job or for an interview, get your money up front. Because the truth is, once they have you, they have you. Why would they give you more? You already work there. That's why a lot of times you have to leapfrog. You have to go to a, another organization to make more money. And don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to go after what is yours. Now, let me give you a little bit more of the background about how I figured how to work these things out. There was a period of time after I finished my master's degree where I was looking for, for new employment, right? I'm applying to like every place in the world. And I had a lot of interviews. Some interviews, you know, went well and some didn't. And, you know, just trial and error, I'm shooting stuff out there. I'm really kind of trying to figure things out, trying to figure out how the system works, right? Now, I, I knew people in, in HR anyway from other places I've worked. So I kind of had a little bit more information. But what I figured out was that don't tell them how much you're making at your last job or at your current job. You don't tell them. You don't have to. If they ask you and they say, hey, you know, you know, what are you looking for as far as compensation? This is what you say. This is what this is the exact phrase. Rewind it and watch it back if you need to. This is the exact phrase. Mm, I prefer to keep that figure close to, to the chest, but I'm sure that you have a, a range or a figure in mind for this position. And I would love to know what it is. You make them go first. You make them go first. And I learned this by experience because if it's a job that could pay you 90 and they say, how much do you want? And you say 70, they're going to give you 70 and that's it. And then you're locked in at 70. Congratulations. You played yourself. You're locked in at 70,000. You know what I mean? You could ask for 90. You, you, you could ask for a hundred. You always make them go first because they show their cards. I've been so good at it. I've even done on interviews and I said that and they, they were like, Oh, you know, we're looking for conversation. I said, I prefer to keep that figure close to the chest, but I'm sure you have a range in mind for this position and I would love to know what it is. The HR woman started laughing and she's like, Mr. Presbury, you've done this before, haven't you? And I said, Oh yes. Oh yes, I have. I've played this. Come on now. We too grown for that. I want my money. I want money up front. You know what I mean? And I suggest that you get it too. So remember that phrase, write it down, save it, do whatever you got to do. That's an important phrase. Now, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to push because the honest truth is the worst thing they can do is say no, right? If they give you a, a range, now I'm going to go, I'm going to tell you like this, right? That phrase has never not worked. I hate double negatives. That phrase has never not worked, but if they should push back, if they really want to get pushy and you want to ask for, for top rate, which I'm all for, man, ask for your top rate because you deserve it, right? And say, hey, listen, I was curious about top rate. Would you be able to find out, you know, what, what that is, et cetera, et cetera? I've had people say, mm, I'm not really sure. Um, I think that is top rate. And I said, okay, well, you know what? We still have time. Please go find out with whoever is in charge how much that, that that top rate is, because based on my own experience, based on my on my ex expertise, I believe that I have a valid case for for top rate. You be pushy because you you want your money. I mean, you got to fight for yourself. You have to advocate for yourself. 
Okay, guys, this is Professor Price, but you went a little long. It's going to be 10 minutes, and I hate that, but this is like such important, such valuable information. I wanted you to have it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Have a good one. Bye bye. This is Professor Presbury just doing a very short addendum to this video. I want to say this. People need to get out of the mindset of being shy to ask for things because these companies are not shy to say no. The most significant changes I've made in my financial life, in my, you know, in my money making life as a adult were changing jobs and getting the money up front. And that's why I was very passionate about this video, because promotions are not very common. Um, raises are nothing like the most, like the biggest jumps in income I've made are when switching to a, a new position. And I find that that's the truth. And I think that you guys should really lean into that because it, it's worked for me and I've seen it work for others. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character, that is the true goal of education.